Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to walk you through the process of installing an insert into a custom hood. So this is an insert motor from Z-Line Kitchen and Bath. And this is a custom wood hood from wholesalewoodhood.com. So right now this is just uh, basically a wooden shell. Uh, it's really nice, it's unfinished, so we can paint it, stain it, whatever we like. And this is the motor that will be going inside of here to allow for um, heat and smoke to be exhausted out of our house. So um, let's get started. So we have the insert from Z-Line. Um, it actually came with all the brackets and screws that we'll need to install it. Um, however, within the manual, it does say that we can actually screw straight through the metal here and into the wood hood. So in this hood, we actually have a build out. So the lip will actually rest on here and we're gonna be screwing right into this wood so that it'll actually have a nice flush finish. Um, typically, you would be able to mount this bracket to these holes and this screw would screw into the bottom. So it would basically sit like so. Um, however, we're gonna skip that step and actually screw right through this metal um, so it would be a nicer finish overall. So for this insert, what we're gonna do is drill three pilot holes in the back, one in the center, two on either side of it. We're gonna drill two pilot holes in the sides, on both sides. Okay, so now that we have our three pilot holes drilled in the back, and I've already drilled two in the sides, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get our custom wood hood, we're gonna put it on its back, we're gonna slide this insert into it, get it nice and snug, and then we're just gonna shoot screws through these and get it secured into the wood hood. And be careful not to over tighten because you don't want to strip the wood itself where the screws are going to sit. You want it to be flush and tight, but not too tight. Okay, so now that we have the insert installed into the range hood, we need to install the range hood onto the wall. So depending on what style of range hood you have, it's gonna be different. Um, this one came with a French cleat, so I'm actually able to just install that into the wall and then the range hood will be able to slide right on top of that. Um, yours may be different, so just look at the manual that came with your hood. So with this one, with any range hood, you wanna install it centered above the range. You want it, the bottom of the range hood no more than 36 inches above and no less than 30 inches. So this one's gonna sit at the perfect height right above this range hood. Well, that's basically all there is to it, to installing an insert into a custom wood hood. It's a pretty simple process, uh, fairly straightforward. Um, ideally, you do wanna have your hood stained or painted, um, even with a clear coat of stain if you like that unfinished look. Um, we will have a video showing just how to stain or paint your custom hood. Thanks for watching. If you liked today's video, leave a like. Also, please feel free to subscribe and turn those notifications on. You can also comment on videos you don't like or on content you'd like to see in the future coming from us. Well, that's all for today from us, so please check back soon for more content from Appliance Educator.